Hi guys, welcome back to The YouTube Family! And today you're going to learn some pretty crazy things about us that maybe you don't know. I'm sure you don't know because some of our own family members don't know. I don't know. But before we get started, we want to let you know that this video is sponsored by 23andMe. 23andMe is named after the 23 chromosomes that are found in our DNA. 23andMe can provide over 75 reports that give you information regarding your health, certain traits, and your ancestors. You know what ancestors are? They're like your grandparents, your great grandparents, your great great grandparents, your great 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 grandparents, and those mm -hmm. other old people. And great 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 So it can actually link you to your DNA relatives and you can meet um, relatives that you don't know or you can even find out that somebody that you do know is actually a relative So like our next-door neighbor could actually be our relative oh, Who knows could be you can also participate in a feature called DNA relatives where you can find other people who have similar DNA traits as you or me or him or her which is pretty cool to find similar DNA I think yeah. so. kind of cool like Male pattern baldness. Because <laughs> bald guys gotta bond together. Then you can stick together and like form your own bald. Yeah. Bald community. Because you know the you know the joke that's out there. I'll be your friends. God only made so many perfect heads, and the rest he put hair on them. Uh -huh. About it. Sure. <laughs> You got a perfect head. Yes, oh. I do. You Are got you it. You got the joke. Not you. You, you still not hair me. Right here. Not you. So taking the test is pretty easy. Um, all you have to do is spit into a tube and then send it back in this little box that it comes with and then wait for your results. So we're going to have dad take the test in a li little bit and you can see how simple it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I also have to do a spit in a cup, right? That's all you have to do. Awesome. That's, I can handle that. 23andMe is going to provide you with a special offer for Father's Day and you will get $20 off. So this is a great gift that you could get that dad that you have no idea what to get him because he has everything. And it'd be fun to take the test with your dad and share your traits and your ancestry together. It'd be kind of a fun activity to do together. So if you want to get this for your dad for Father's Day, go ahead and take advantage of that $20 off offer. You can go ahead and use the link www.23andme.com slash that YouTube family. But you gotta spell it, that YouTube family! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to get the three in there. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you gotta spell it right. That's what makes it the <laughs> Yeah. That <laughs> So before I take the test, we're gonna share some funny and or unique traits that we have that you have no idea that we have. We know that you don't know that we know that you don't know. <laughs> oh. You know? So Alrighty. I'll start us, how's okay, that? Go ahead. So I've got a unique trait, and I noticed this a long time ago when I was young, that my pinkies are not straight here and I'll come show you close to the camera and comment down below if you have this trait so when I put my when I put my pinkies together you'll see that they don't line up they're crooked and they've always been that way ever since I can remember so that's one unique trait for me okay I put mine together and mine are straight mine are like dad's they're crooked yeah Jordan's like me Woo! how about you Jake how's your pinkies um, Mostly straight. Mostly straight and tie straight. So Jordan has a little bit crooked with that. So ah! <laughs> crooked pinkies rule. Now go ahead, everybody put your hands up to the screen and are your straight or crooked? So something that's pretty unique about Ty is that he can curl his tongue. How many in our family can curl their tongues? Mm. I don't have that trait. All <laughs> I can do is stick my tongue out. <laughs> But these guys can all do, they can do all sorts of tricks with their tongues. Basically curling it makes it into a taco bowl. It's weird. Yes, I do. Can you turn it upside down too? No. Wait, yeah. what? They twist it. They do really weird Whoa, what tricks. What the heck? Turn Ew. your tongue upside down. See here, I'll show everybody. <laughs> so apparently all the kids take after me, mm -hmm. not mom, because she can't, I can't curl do her that. tongue. Okay. This is curling the tongue, and this is rolling your tongue. And if you're really cool, 
you can make your tongue go into three. That's, <laughs> that's something Audrey could do. She could make hers into a tackle bowl. Okay, so if you can curl your tongue like the rest of my family, <laughs> then let us know, because I can't do that. <laughs> Which makes maybe me weird and unique, actually. Maybe it's not Ty, maybe it's just me. <laughs> well, you know what makes mom really unique? is we all think that she's what? A mermaid! A mermaid. A mermaid. And, and, and Jake's a merman. Jake's a merman. <laughs> yeah, merman. We might be part mermaid merman. So Jake and I have this little hole in our ear and it's called the preauricular sinus. Um, I've only met one other person in my entire life that has this hole in their ear other than Jake. And so it's pretty, uh, rare I guess not many people have it so it just looks like a little ear piercing I'll show you um, but some people think that that's just the little hole is just like a former gills so <laughs> if we're part fish that must mean we're mermaid that's really cool actually so. though because I want to be a mermaid so, <laughs> so the hole in my ear makes me a mermaid <laughs> yeah you're just, you're so lucky Woo! So mom is a mermaid and Jake is a merman. Yeah, also. let me show you the little hole. So right there you'll notice a tiny little hole in my ear. That's the preauricular sinus. Not as cool as being a mermaid and growing fins, but... It's a start. It's a step, start. It's a step closer. We're a step closer to mermaid than the rest of them. Yeah. So tonight's a full moon. Maybe we'll put Jake and mom out in a pool outside <laughs> and see if they turn into mer, That'd be crazy. mer, mer people. Oh, uh, yeah. Let us know if you want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan, what have you got for us? Okay, something cool that I have is that I kind of have a hitchhiker's thumb, which basically means that instead of my thumb being straight up and down, I could also move it back a little bit more, which I don't know if that's common or not. I don't know. Mine goes I back. Mo I think most of you guys could do it, but. Yeah. We're all hitchhikers. Jacob, Jacob can kind of. Jacob is mostly met, straight. But there's people that can only do it straight forward. Like, so some people their thumb only goes like this, but for me, I can move it back more. All right, so Dad's going to take this test. We're going to find out if Dad is a Neanderthal, which what? that means caveman. <laughs> yeah. Caveman? Are, Are you a caveman? Serious? Who thinks Dad's a Neanderthal? Okay. <laughs> you're, you're caveman, you're caveman. All right, vote in the polls if you think I'm a caveman. We gotta vote right now, not uh, after the fact. Yeah, vote now. <laughs> and have you guys ever seen a picture of a bald caveman? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. No. But if you were a caveman, that would mean you're strong, so. No, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> <Even around. laughs> yeah cavemen are strong. Okay, so it's just I might a compliment. Have some caveman tendencies. <laughs> tendencies? Tendencies. Oh my goodness. How tendencies. Tendencies. Whoa, what? Tendencies? Tendencies. 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 Yeah, tendencies. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Tendencies. <laughs> tendencies. All right. Tendencies. Caveman can't say tendencies. <laughs> then we can face off between a caveman and the, the mermaids. Caveman or mermaids? And the regular peeps. And the regulars. <laughs> oh, no, not the All right, let's take the test. I, I can't wait to see. <laughs> My Neanderthal ways are preventing me from having saliva. Okay, oh, I gotta think of something like yummy to eat, like chips and salsa. Ice cream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth seriously is super dry. <laughs> so now what you do is you take this lid, it's got some uh, liquid in it, and you close it, and it releases the liquid into the vial. Ooh. Then you take the funnel off, then you put the shipping lid on, shake it for five seconds to mix whatever that was with all my goodness. Then you put it in the bag that it came with. You seal up the bag. Now I'm going to take that, put it in the box that it came with. I've already registered it, so we're going to ship these. All right, guys, Dad got his results back. Let's find out some information about Dad. All right, so I haven't seen any of this except for the first line. <laughs> and it's kind of funny so far. Well, I guess it's not funny because it's me, so. <laughs> but uh, here we go. So it says, my ancestry composition. So I'm 48.9% 
British and Irish. So I'm gonna click on that. I thought we had no Irish in us. Yeah. Oh, hey, Lassie, we got some Irish in us. <laughs> we got Irish. <laughs> we just found out something new. So European is 99.9% .9 and then Middle Eastern and North African is point one percent. It's very one, small. It's one tenth of one percent. So if we look here, um, just kind of French. Here. We've got uh, British, Irish, Scandinavian, Scandinavian, French, and German, Finnish, and Sardinian. Hey, maybe that's why we're like playing sardines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then way back in the 1700s, there's some North African piece there. So it says you most likely had a fourth great grandparent fifth great grandparent, sixth great grandparent, or seventh great or greater grandparent who was 100% North African. You're most likely to have had a parent, grandparent, or great parent, grandparent who was 100% British and Irish. This person was likely born between 1880 and 1940. And that is the case actually. So with my ancestry here. Okay, so my DNA family says I have 1,274 DNA relatives. That's a lot of cousins. Wow. That's a lot of people out there. That's a lot of people you could get in touch with if you wanted to learn more. Wow, I could spend wow. a lot of time on here. Yeah. The cool thing about that though is that you don't have to um, connect to everybody else. It's very secure and you can say whether you want to link your information to someone else and find distant relatives. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Let's see, my genetic weight. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it says I'm pre predisposed to weigh more than average. Your composition of your... I just need to hit the gym more. <laughs> my muscles big again. That's what it means. I'm going to be more heavy because I got more bigger muscles. That's true. <laughs> could. I could, actually. All right, lactose intolerance. I'm likely intolerant. Yes, that's good. What? Wait, you always eat cookies and milk. I How are you? I love still... my cookies and milk. He's How likely are you that okay? well, well there could like... it could not affect him, but it could affect okay. other people. Asparagus oh. odor defect? <laughs> okay, so my sense of taste and smell. <laughs> it says here my taste is bitter taste and sweet taste. Sweet and sweet. Bitter, so dark chocolate. <laughs> what? I thought you were totally I don't like salty. Dark chocolate. And my smell is <laughs> asparagus odor detection. <laughs> Click it, does it tell you more? <laughs> Okay, yeah, it says, yeah. Dad, you are likely to be able to smell the asparagus metabolite, metabolite in your pee. Yeah. <laughs> Not to get too personal, but yes, I can smell that. <laughs> so does that mean that some people cannot smell that when they eat asparagus? It that must, must mean, mean that, right? That's, That's weird. interesting. So, can, can that work for like other things like apples or something? You wow. guys can all smell that though, right? When you eat asparagus, you're not ever eat asparagus. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't really eat asparagus. So I don't know. Well, we're having asparagus, asparagus tonight. Asparagus. <laughs> and then we're gonna put down on the on another video of who can smell it after they use the restroom. It only takes like ten minutes too. Gross. That's just weird. That's okay, gross. it says Dad, you're likely to taste certain bitter compounds. So the bitter compounds are found like in broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love broccoli. So I so hate good. Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts. Hate Brussels Brussels sprouts, sprouts so not so much, but broccoli oh. is so good. Well, and I that's had why that's why you might not like Brussels sprouts is because you can taste the bitterness yeah. more than other people can. So you yeah. might have an aversion to it. I like Brussels deep sprouts. Deep sleep less likely to be a deep sleeper. I am a big time deep sleeper. Yay. Yay. So it says sleep movement, likely more than average movement. <laughs> I don't think I moved that much. I just slept two weeks <laughs> no. on the bed, and I'm not kidding you, was this wide. It was as wide as me, because if I tried to turn, I'd almost fall off the bed. But, and so I didn't move hardly at all for two weeks on a boat that was rocking. You just but you do turn, and when you turn, it's like, thump. <laughs> a big rollover turn. It's like what? <laughs> okay, all right. As you turn, so I, <laughs> so you do move. Oh, I got six reports about my hair. Oh. Let's see what kind of luscious, long flowing locks of hair I've got. <gasps> Your hair is light to dark hair with red hair. You right? Know, he so does have like I do. This. I, yeah. I did have red hair in my beard. It's, it's now kind of turned a little white. But I do kind of have the darker hair, and I did have red all over my beard at one time. Yep. Hair curliness? My texture of my hair says hair curliness. What? It's too short to tell. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Wait, I want to see this. You got to grow out your beard to be really long. And it says age related. Oh my gosh. It says newborn hair amount, male hair loss, Click and it. bald spots. Let's look at it. 
Wait, what? I'm gonna go bald. <laughs> yeah, ready. Wait, wait, it says, Dad, you've been likely to born with lots of hair. I was born with lots of hair. I used to have hair like Jacob. I had tons of hair. Oh, wait, that's bad news for me. And then it all went away. <laughs> okay, so here's my skin report. It says, you are likely to have lighter skin. And it says, you are not likely to have a lot of freckles, which I don't have a lot of freckles. You I don't even know if I have any freckles. I got freckles. I got lots of freckles. You got a lot. I got lots of freckles. Okay. You got I've got so freckles. So that's pretty spot on for my skin report. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so muscle composition. Dad said he was strong, remember. Your genetic muscle composition is uncommon in elite power athletes. What does that mean? What does that this mean? I'm Wait, not, let's That means it. I'm not an elite power athlete. Aww. <laughs> that means... <laughs> You do not have the same genetic variant as these elite athletes. For most people, let's see, lifestyle and training factors drive athletic performance. So I don't have the same genetic composition as elite athletes. Mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... So that makes you a little bit less cavemanish, probably. Here is my Neanderthal ancestry. I don't know if I want to put, I don't know if I want to click it. Uh, yeah, we Which, want to find out if you're a caveman. Click it. It's basically. Okay, am I a caveman? Yeah. I hope you guys mark no. <gasps> you have 267 Neanderthal variants. What does that mean? I don't know. It says so This is less than 66% of the customers. So, so that means. He's not very. I'm not as much of a caveman as 66% of you out there are. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Let's not see. It. However, Neanderthal and Sestri accounts for less than 4% of your overall DNA. So it's less than 4%. Oh, here we go. Whoa. I am less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. That's a thing? Dark chocolate makes you sneeze? Really? I want to test this out. <sighs> okay, so this report is actually really fun. This is actually a really cool test to do as well. So highly recommend you guys doing this. So the good thing about this is I'm not a caveman, but <laughs> they are mermaids and mermen. <laughs> <laughs> so this has actually been a lot of fun. So I ordered a kit for me and for my mom and sister. And I thought this would be a fun activity that the three of us could take this test and then get together and compare our DNA as well and learn a little bit more about each other and just have a good laugh over the different things that it reveals about each of us. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Bye! Bye.